What is up everyone, Rex here, and welcome to the first episode of the Repercussion Series where I talk about anything and everything that is on my mind. And first off, I just kind of want to make a couple announcements. Uh, I did get Assassin's Creed 3, and the game is freaking amazing. I really am excited for that video game, and have always been excited for Assassin's Creed. But this is actually the first one that I have purchased and played myself. I've played the other two, or the other few Assassin's games, uh, at friend's house, and I know the storyline. Uh, I don't want to really talk about it that much here, because this is Call of Duty. This is Call of Duty gameplays and commentaries. Or, at least, repercussion series is Call of Duty gameplay with me commenting. But, uh, I also got Halo 4. Uh, I'm pre I pre-ordered it and got it on the pre-order date. And, um... I also pre-ordered Black Ops 2, and I really pre-ordered it because of the Nuketown 2025 map. I really want to get that, but I, I do know, I mean, it's. It, I hope it's fairly obvious to you guys that they will um, eventually come out with, um, I don't know if it'll be free, but there will be download con downloadable content of Nuketown 2025, because if they don't do that, then they are goddamn stupid. Uh, Treyarch would be stupid for not doing that, uh, eventually. Yeah, I, I think it probably will be, I don't know, anytime after three months after the release date on the 13th of November, in my opinion, so it will be after the new year. But, uh, please do not take that information from me, that's just an opinion. Uh, and most likely, I want to say it should be right. But anyways, uh, back to Halo 4 for just a little bit more. Um, I will not, I haven't played that game yet. Uh, because I want to keep the same excitement level when I'm playing it, uh, and possibly doing a commentary over it so that I'm not very boring. Uh, because if I played a game and I'm replaying it, I don't have the same excitement level uh, as, you know, going back through it. it. Because obviously it's slightly less interesting and uh, entertaining. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can say that with anybody. But uh, I will get videos of both Assassin's Creed 3 and Halo 4 up on our channel, so stay tuned for them, because I know you guys are most likely waiting for all that stuff, too. Uh, but in the meantime, we have a Mono for 3 gameplay of me using uh, M60 with extended mag silencer, and I went 48 and 7, but I don't like to talk about gameplay. I'm just letting you know what the hell is going on in here. We were fooling around, uh, me and a full squad of RGC guys uh, from Mixed Battalions, and we decided to play some domination, so uh, I decided to, to not even care, and I still did well. <laughs> uh, all right, so I really wanted to talk about the election. Uh, I'm not a huge political guy, but you know, since this happened, you might as well go ahead and make a commentary about it. Uh, not to say that I'm just joining everybody. Ooh, look at that sticky grenade. Yep, you got stuck. Fun. You got stuck, my friend. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, so, the election was decided, Obama won, uh, um, in more of a, not, I don't want to say it's a landslide, but it was a bigger margin of defeat than everyone expected, because they were even discussing that it could have been a tie, and with that, they would have went to, I'm pretty sure, the House of Representatives, if they landed in a 269-269 tie, and they're all saying that since the House of Representatives uh, was majority Republican, that Mc Romney would have won. And then uh, someone else votes for the vice president. Uh, and they were saying that Biden would have won that. And it would have, it could have been, uh, if it was a tie, Romney-Biden. So that would have been very interesting. Uh, to say the least. Uh, but Obama won, and uh, he will be our president for another four years. And I, it, I can honestly say that I voted for him. Uh, I, I don't want to go into a huge political debate, and I don't want you guys to like me and not like me based on my political views, because I don't really like to talk about um, politics that much. Be but I will say my views on politics. Uh, especially for the president. I feel that any job, you know, this goes for anything in, in my in my opinions. I feel that any job, especially the presidency, should be 
whoever is best fit for that job. And that's who should be in any position, when it, whether it's a managerial job for any company, it, e even like someone that works the crane uh, in, in a warehouse or in a shipyard. Uh, if someone's better than the other person at working the crane, he should do the job. You know, it. Uh, that, that's just my views. And, you know, I encourage people to go out and vote because this was my first year of voting. Uh, because it is our civic right and civic duty to do so. And some of you may feel, and I kind of feel this way too in a way, that, you know, our. It doesn't even matter. Our. You know, the popular vote has nothing to do with the Electoral College. And, honestly, in my opinion, that's true. Uh, but I'm, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to get into a huge political debate. Uh, I, I'm just not going to even ponder the situation of having a huge political debate. Um, so I just am really just saying to go out there and vote. Whether it's at your local government um your local government elections uh, or the presidential elections you know go out there and vote whenever you can because it's what's right um, I don't care who you vote for in any election because it's your it's your vote and you can do whatever you want with it but don't just go vote to to vote if you're gonna go vote get educated okay look up information uh, it may not be right it may be right but educate yourself uh, don't just go out there and say you know it, it, have your friends influence you to to go vote for a specific person go educate yourself and vote your own way because if your friends say oh you voted for so and so I voted for the other guy or girl or woman and uh, I don't like you anymore if you have friends like that you shouldn't be friends with them because first of all they're idiots uh, and I have some friends like that but I just ignore the whole conversation let it slip over their heads and we're friends and uh, but if you have friends like that don't be their friends or just say look dude I don't want to discuss it can we just not discuss it because politics in any kind of conversation just never works out it never works out You'll never get by anyway. And that's all my views. I really don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh, uh, so, I'm just, uh, what I'm basically, I said this, I'm saying this over and over again, but just go out there and vote. Vote for who you think should win any election. You know, it could be even uh, if you have to vote for something in your business. Go vote. Do it. Uh, because even in school, if you're if you're younger and listening to this, if you're younger than uh, 18 and listening to this, and they have your um, if you do like a, I don't know, like a fake class election or or anything, you know, uh, educate yourself. You know, don't just go out there and vote because everybody likes Obama or or everybody like Mitt Romney or future elections. Uh, educate yourself a little bit, but. If you're younger and listening to this, register to vote and vote. That's all I can say. So, with that, the end of the commentary. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep watching for more stuff. Bye.